day out again today. Uh, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another um, Quarren Daily video, I guess. This is day two. Uh, just trying to keep the videos coming along. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do today. Alright, figured it out. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's uh, the part I'm waiting for to fix my, to hopefully fix my starting issue um, is new connectors for the end of wires. I guess, because I want to run another ground from my battery. Um, I'm actually going to run it from the battery all the way to the engine block just to like make sure I have a good ground. That's the only thing I can think with that because I did, I did um, add two grounds from the battery to just the body like in the trunk and my starting issue was like solved for like a couple days. Like it was working good. I would hit the button, it would crank and no issues for like maybe not a couple days but like over the course of two days I tested it like five different times and it worked. And then the last time I tried to do it, the car didn't start right away. So then I went to hit it again and it crapped out again. And then we're back to where we are um, with me pressing the button a bunch of times until it cranks. So uh, I'm thinking it might still be a grounding issue. I really don't know. Maybe I just don't have a really good ground on the engine or the transmission to um, ground. So, uh, my game plan with that, when, when the connectors come in, I'm gonna run, um, Actually, I'll just show you the like little disconnect. I'll just show you the connection on the battery itself. This is the connection on the battery itself. Uh, don't worry about these random wires that I ran. These were the ones that I just tried for to run as a test. Um, one there, one there, um, off the battery. And like I said, it did start pretty damn good a couple times. Um, but what I'm gonna do, uh, that's the, the black wires coming down here. Um, you see it's ground sanded down and it's going straight to metal. Um, I redid that connection to make it nice and, and snug. Um, maybe this like block isn't the greatest, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna wind up running a connection from that, um, probably underneath the car to the starter. But that connection I'm gonna wait on uh, to make. Uh, I do have wire. Uh, I never bothered measuring it to make sure it was enough wire. Um, hopefully that's enough. That's from a video a long time ago when I did the, the relocation into the trunk. Uh, I do have a couple other pieces of wire that I could use um, for like short grounds if I need to. Um, no big deal, I have plenty of wire to use as grounds. Today I'm probably just gonna continue to just Make sure everything is grounded nice and uh, nice and good on there. Uh, as you see there, there's another engine ground there. Uh, there's there's actually two coming off that point, but maybe the point on the car it's connected to isn't the greatest. I don't know. Um, I believe I have one on this side too. Uh, we're just gonna re-confirm uh, that all our grounds are are good. Um, I might try to put one straight from the starter to the frame. And maybe like, maybe there's some reason that my transmission to um, engine isn't getting a really good ground. So I'm gonna make sure those are grounded nice um, also. And the last order of business I wanna do, um, before I brought the car to the shop for the tune, clutch was completely fine. Um, then I couldn't get the thing bled right. So I figured I was just being an idiot and I couldn't figure it out right. So I just told them, I said, yo, can you please bleed the clutch for me, get it, get it working. Um, they ran into the same issues as me, and then it turns out that the the clutch slave um, was leaking. So um, it wasn't me being an idiot or them doing it wrong. They actually figured it out for me that I guess I am an idiot a little bit, but uh, wound up doing some research online and, and just trying to get the thing done quickly. I had them switch it to a 350Z um, slave. Um, which I did some research online, you can do it. I think you just had to add like a washer somewhere. They did it for me, clutch is working great. Um, I believe it's a little hazy because it was like almost a year ago at this point that uh, there was an issue with, I don't know, the maybe the push rod or whatever it is from the clutch pedal assembly to the to the master. And I think they, they did something with it for me to make it legit, I guess. I think the, when he was explaining it to me, I think it was just basically the, the previous owner or whoever did the, the swap, because this was an automatic at one time. Um, they didn't do the swap correctly, so uh, they kind of like just threw it together. Um, they fixed it to make it legit, but the issue I have now, the clutch doesn't engage to like I'm almost completely out of the, completely at the end of the release of the clutch pedal. So I want to look into fixing that. I, I 
think there's an adjustment on it, but I'll uh, get to get around to that. Oh, uh, the things I just explained to you, uh, that is why the car is jacked up already from yesterday's video. That's why I, I didn't just do the rear, I did the entire car uh, because I'm gonna have to get underneath it to run the wire from the trunk to the engine block or transmission or wherever I decide to do it um, and then uh, recheck all my grounds and then mess with the clutch. But I don't think I, have, I don't have to get under the car for that. Let's try this one out. Might seem completely ridiculous to you, but uh, sometimes if you use an impact gun and it doesn't want to turn, uh, I like to grab the, uh, if I can, I like to grab like the socket or the extension and help it turn as you're, as you're doing it. And uh, sometimes it gives you a little extra juice. So it's a good reason to just get under your car every once in a while and just look. Uh, I guess I'm an idiot and I just, once again, me being an idiot, I never noticed this, but um, <laughs> Look how messed up these arms are. These bushings, oh wait, where are we? These bushings have seen better days. So. This side. Yeah, so. Uh, it's funny, because they don't even move that much, but uh, I guess I'm probably gonna get new arms. So uh, I'll show you the grounds quick that I'm gonna mess with. Uh, to me, they look completely fine at the moment, but I'm just gonna reconnect them and clean everything up again. But uh, that's the one ground there. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see from here. Um, that's the other ground right there. Um, they're both going to the same spot. One is the top, one is the bottom of the, of the engine block. That's this connection right there. Uh, Solid point in the block, but I'm gonna clean, try to clean the top and the bottom of that again. Um, I don't know if that needs a better connection point. Um, I just have a self tapper holding it in, but I um, guess we're gonna try to solidify it a little bit more. But I just caught myself too. Put put the put safety glasses on. Um, if you don't think it's cool, uh, it's a lot less cool going to the hospital right now in these times because uh, you might catch something you don't want to catch. A little switcheroo here so uh i left that ground I, I probably should have tried to clean that up i don't know if i can uh i'm gonna look into that in a second but uh this ground that was over here um i wound up taking off the purple one i just have that black one going from the bottom of that because i sanded that down nice um going to the frame uh body frame took that off there sanded it down again um took the purple one that was over there i put it from one of the bolts on the starter straight the frame. Uh, let's see if we're gonna be able to see from this side. Uh, starter and starter frame there, and then, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. I spray painted around it just to help prevent rust a little bit. A little restless waiting for parts from, uh, from Amazon. Uh, I know they put like a priority on like essential stuff, so that's the stuff getting shipped out first, but, uh, I guess the little rings for the end of my wires are not essential, so I gotta wait till I guess that Friday. Like I might have some stuff floating around somewhere to like make a makeshift ring out of it, but uh, it's not that important to me right at the moment. Uh, I put that ground on there. Um, when it does come, I'm still gonna run the one from the battery all the way up. I don't know if I'm gonna connect it to the engine block or maybe I could do it to one of the same bolts as I have um, on the frame rail somewhere just so feeds back in, I don't know. I don't know yet, I'll figure that one out, but I'm definitely gonna run one from the battery. All the way up front. The only thing I changed was that ground, so. Let's see. I don't know, for right now, maybe that worked. Maybe it didn't, we'll see. Only time will tell. Doors, the garage door's closed, by the way, that's why I didn't actually crank the car over, but it tried to crank. Um, I will insert a clip, if I remember to, I'll insert the clip of the issue I was having right here. And then uh, 
you just heard it, tried to crank the first try. So it's a plus for me. Hopefully that continues to work. Let me uh, step back for you a little bit. All right, so uh, starter issue may or may not be fixed. I don't know. Uh, like I keep saying, uh, Friday I'm gonna run that other ground just as a extra precaution. I don't know if that one's gonna last for a while because that's what that did for me when I added those battery grounds, those, those janky looking battery grounds, and it worked for a little while for me. Uh, so as of right now, it's working. Um, now I gotta see if there's a way to adjust this clutch because it's, not that it's like annoying, but it's, I mean, it's a little annoying that you have to like almost lift your foot completely off just to get the, the clutch to grab. So it's actually good that the wheels are off the floor because then we'll be able to test if it's grabbing earlier and I don't actually, I'll, then I don't actually have to move the car. So uh, from what I read online, what I, what I looked at online, this should just be like a rod going from the top of the clutch assembly um, to the master. Uh, just gotta extend that. I think there's just like a lock nut. Uh, you gotta undo, extend it. We'll see if that even works. Um, if I can even get in there, I might have to like do some like, uh, do some like contortionist shit just to get under there. Uh, I am like six, two, six, three and not very flexible. All right, so I was able to adjust the clutch a little bit. Um, I put you at this angle so I can give you um, a dramatic reenactment of how I adjusted this thing. It's actually not dramatic. Reenactment is actually how I did it. Hold on. Basically like this. Okay. We're in there like this. Clutch paddle. I'm gonna, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that again uh, to tighten that. Uh, maybe not so much to adjust it because once I got the lock nut loose, it was just adjusting by hand. But uh, car's up in the air. Uh, gonna start the car. Well, I gotta open the door first. Gonna start the car. Then we're gonna see if the clutch engagement is any different. Uh, this is the perfect time to see. Uh, door's open. This is the perfect time to see if the starter is still uh, still wanting to work here. At least it's adjusted. Uh, I might give it a turn back the other way. I don't remember which way I even turn it. It's no good. And so two things I've noticed. Uh, adding that ground um, seems to have made it a little better, if that even makes sense. Um, the starting issue seems to have make that the made the starting issue like slightly better. Uh, doesn't take as many attempts to get it to crank over. Um, so that's leading leading me to believe that I'm kind of on the right path here. Um, with it just being a ground, but you never know. Still, it could be it could be something completely ridiculous I'm not even thinking of. Um, and then number two, clutch pedal. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show you. Uh, I'll do my best to show you, but uh, I'll show you what I adjusted. Let me get a light for you. So anyone, whoa, that is really bright. Anyone uh, considering trying to adjust their clutch pedal, um, Anyone trying to adjust their clutch pedal, you basically, um, all right, that's the, right there um, is the plunger, as you see, that goes into um, your master, um, and then there's a lock nut on the back end of that little uh, clip. Got to loosen that lock nut, and then you see that little knurled spot of the thing. I don't know if it's not focusing on what I'm talking about. That little like knurled spot of the, the rod there, um, you just gotta adjust that. So I did it counterclockwise. Um, 
which is basically, I turned it counterclockwise, which is basically um, making the rod shorter, I think. So uh, it's allowing you to push the pedal in more before you get the full um, disengagement of your clutch. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna rock it like that for a little bit, make sure we don't have any clutch issues. If we have any clutch issues, uh, we're gonna start turning it back the other way to go back to the way it was, because it, it was working fine. It was just um, basically almost at the end of the, the clutch throw was the engagement point. Um, so like I said, we're gonna run it like that for a little bit and make sure everything uh, stays working right. So now I've just got to, uh, did I take the light away? I'm just going to turn that lock nut back up. Hopefully I don't have to completely climb under this again the way I did, I think I do. It's just very painful. Uh, gotta get the shoulder under there. Lock nut, uh, wrench, oh God, painful. Okay, okay. Now, getting back out. Oh. Okay. That felt good. All right, so uh, clutch adjusted for now. Um, when I when I'm able to go on a ride, I could uh, when I'm able to go on a drive, I could actually uh, see if it's working pretty decently. Uh, Kind of wet out right now, um, and my witchy wipers don't work. Uh, might be connected to the blower motor somehow. Um, that's my only guess, but uh, pretty simple one. Uh, I'm gonna leave the car jacked up like this because when those connectors do come, I'm gonna run the wire from the battery probably underneath the car, zip tied up nice um, to either the engine block or maybe straight to the starter. I, I don't even know at this point. Um, guess that's it for now. Uh, Leave the car, like I said, I'm leaving the car jacked up like this. Uh, what I'm thinking I'm doing, of, what I'm thinking of doing tomorrow, um, I could leave the car up like this. Um, I don't know if I have enough metal for what I want to do. Uh, I have a hole over there and a hole over here. Um, I might try to fill them with, uh, I have diamond plate. Just gonna send it with that because uh, I don't want to put any like regular metal in there and then weld it in. Well, first I don't have a welder, is number one, and then I, and then uh, I don't want to mess up my paint job, so I'll probably just do diamond plate and bolt it in. I'll at least do this one side. Uh, it should clean it up a little bit. We'll see how that one goes, and then maybe I'll try it on the other side. Uh, a little less room to work with on the other side, but it is what it is. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, see you tomorrow. Um, subscribe and help me with my starter, please. <laughs>